thought about that for a show. Um, Angie left, Christina left, and now any one of seven could be leaving on Friday. I need a bloody lie down. I can't <laughs> deal with it. It's too much. Uh, we're going to be bringing you all the latest from inside the UK's most famous house. And Matt Richardson's going to be whipping out his funny <laughs> bone. He's going to be chatting about the week that was, and if all of that wasn't enough to get you going, you should see who's on our panel. First up, she had to endure Gary Busey getting his bits out in the kitchen. <laughs> so I'm making a promise now not to flash her tonight. Give it up for the gorgeous D. Kelly! Yeah! The show! The show! Side hair and a show! Growing old, Grace. Go on, girl. <laughs> My next guest is a presenter, a singer, and she's no stranger to a diving board. And she'll even sort out your problems if you like. It's the beautiful Anna Williamson. <laughs> and finally, she walks out of that house using the quickest quick step the dancing world has ever seen. She was the third housemate to be shown the door, and she was definitely happy to go. I think it's safe to say that it is the stunning Christina Rianoff. Yeah! Now, before we get into the nitty-gritty, it's time for a little ditty. After tonight's nominations, it's something we have to do. Another housemate will leave Big Brother. That much is true. So now it's that sad time where we have to turn them blue. Do you like that? There we go. Hey! We've got the budget for the writers now, haven't we? The housemates <laughs> facing eviction this week are Daniela. <laughs> Gemma. <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> John. <laughs> Megan. <laughs> Stephanie. And Tiffany! Woo! So there we have it. We have got seven people up for the chop. Let's start with Tiffany. She received a whopping seven noms herself. <laughs> um, Dee, she took it really well. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I think she took it a lot better than a lot of us thought. She probably <laughs> That's that yeah, but, um, She took Christopher's nomination of her really well, I thought. <laughs> but... It's because Christopher yeah. almost absolutely pooed himself. <laughs> 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 Please don't hurt me, Please don't do it. Please don't do it. Take the side. The funny thing is, though, she, she hasn't actually fallen out with anyone properly yet, no. I don't think that we've seen. Do you think she's got a right to be upset, Anna? Because it's not as if she's going for people, is it? No, but I think that anyone that gets nominated, you're going to take it personally, aren't you? You've got, you know, mm. I, I'm the only one on the panel that hasn't, you know, been in the house to, to oh, do we'll this. Oh, we'll sort that out. No, 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 I'm, I'm quite happy They all end up in there in the end. <laughs> quite happy <laughs> opinionating. Um, but, you know, I think she's got a right to be upset because, uh, you know, but it, but it is the game, it is the show. She's yeah. a reality queen. She knows how it works. But, but she takes last it so night, badly. Last night, during the eviction, the crowd absolutely loved her. They yeah. were because she had a really good show the night before, and it was really nice to see a little bit of Tiffany's heart. We're going to talk about it a little bit later on, actually, a little private one to one. Oh, we love a little, a little tip, private... tip, babe. But we saw you a little bit us. of fun Tiffany last night, mm -hmm. and she was doing well. But you know what? I think she's she's absolutely screwed it up now by absolutely going for it and, and throwing all her toys out the pram. It's it's but, too much. Christina, you, you've lived with her. Like I said, the crowd yeah. reaction last night was brilliant for her. Yeah. What's she like on the inside to live with? Why did she get the seven noms? Well, the thing is with um, Tiffany. I think she's a bit like Jacqueline Hyde. You never know what side of her you're gonna get. It's like a ticking bomb all the time. Mm. Something can set her off and here she goes full on. And this is scary to be honest, to be around those like it's a fire full full, full on and there is no, no stopping her. I think actually Steph, uh, Tiffany has a very lovely side to her. Mm. When I got into the house, she was the first one I spoke, you know, about life, about why she's here and so on. She was really lovely. And then the whole thing with Ange kind of blew up out of the proportion. So you just don't know. I think she makes everyone on edge. Mm. Because yeah. you don't yeah. know, you know, what how, unpredictable. She's, and she we is just, quite unpredictable. I do yes, see that. I think that's what kind of goes not in her favor because you just do not know what's going to happen. And after a while, that's that's going to that's going to get on your yeah. tits, isn't it? On your basically. tits. <laughs> on your tits. <laughs> <basically. laughs> yeah. uh, well, listen, let's move on to John. Uh, he was nominated four times this week. Dee, are you happy that he's up? Do you know, I've. I've I absolutely love John watching him on Bart's panel and everything. Yeah, and I mean, yeah. He's, uh, he's, he's, and I was, I was thinking to myself, he's won that the second he walked through mm. that door. I think a lot now, of his fault he was in the I can't career, stand so. him. I think he's the slyest, sneakiest, yeah. most two faced person. I'm shocked. I'm absolutely shocked. You're shocked? Yeah. yeah, really am. So you think the, the, the not him being I'm surprised up is the he didn't right get more, to be fair. Yeah. 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 He does seem to have changed a lot, like mm. just to actually watch or is his this behaviour. The real John, you know, well, exactly. Right. Oh, oh, she's got yeah. a stick out as James. <laughs> um, Darren's reasons were because of the face to face nomination about him smoking. Go, too Darren. Much. Go on, Darren, Dave. Um, and I haven't. Uh, that we think they've moved on from this. Do you think Darren was within his rights to nominate him again for it? Yeah, 
Yes, because I think it's really affected Darren. You know, Darren, let's be honest, you know, he, he's been through a lot and, um, you know, in his, in his past sort of outside the house. And, yeah, that, that really hurt him. And we could see that that has really affected him. And I've seen, I think we all have, a, you know, quite a decline in Darren over the mm. last week. I think, he, I think he felt quite betrayed from, mm. from a person, yeah. a friend in the house. Yeah. And I think someone that has... John's sitting there going, Judas. Mm. <laughs> Judas, Judas. <laughs> but I think that... But I, I do think that, that um, John's concern was genuine, but it was misplaced. It's maybe something you tell a mate you've had for 20 years, not someone that you've only just met. Mm. And I think that Darren had to come up with a reason. You yeah. correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. And I think the fact that it is still bugging him, but I think John needs to accept that and well, but really accept it. We're going to move back to John in a minute, but I, I really want to talk about Gemma, because next up we are talking about Gemma Collins slash the GC. Mm. I don't know who we're going to get night to night. She was nominated three times. Um, the most surprising of nominations, I think, was from Christopher. Yeah. Um, you're friends with him, Dee, on the outside. Yeah, I am, you, you do yeah. see him quite a lot. Is he, is he a loyal person? Do you, you know, or do you think he's just took too much? No, he, Christopher is honestly one of the nicest, most loyalist, humblest people you could mm -hmm. ever, ever meet. Yeah, very true. And, but I can honestly, hand on heart, say, Christopher, that one shocked me. Oh, Maloney! <laughs> it's like, um, but then again, I don't know if he did it because it was probably the easiest option for him to take. I don't know. It's like... Well, and unsurprisingly, though, John, John also nominated Gemma, saying that he can't trust her. Um, Christina, yeah. you, you've obviously got your views on Gemma. Do you think she is trustworthy? Do you think Gemma's trustworthy? and the GC isn't, or do you think it's the other way around? Because she really has got this split personality. I do not know who Gemma is, honestly. I think oh, she has a game plan, oh, and, you know, she always different. <laughs> when I got to know her a little bit, she was quite nice, you know, and I thought a lot of her because of how she is a business person, mm. came a long way from her personal problems and so on. And then all of a sudden, I was very disappointed, like I said, that what was happening, because it's like cancer was spreading out, mm. you know, in the house. She goes to everyone, and she tries to divide everyone, and by that, she will be very strong. I suppose. Just mixes it all up. You know, and I think going to Christopher, he's the sweetest guy ever. You he know, he is, was shaking yeah. and crying, you know, when he's doing nominations. But I totally understand why he nominated Gemma, because she kind of made him do all the dirty work, make me a cup of tea, cook for me, make my bed up, do this, yeah. do that, bring me a towel. Sorry, love, do, do yeah. yourself. He you gave, do it yourself, he gave girl. <laughs> You know, well, I want to try and get happen. through as many as I can. So let's just quickly talk about Stephanie. She received three nominations. Mm. Uh, Scotty was one to do it. I mean, he's def I think it's clear to say he's definitely not two-faced. He's done it to her face. Yeah. Mm. Dee, were you, you shocked know, by that? No, Scotty has not made an impression on me at all until he nominated yeah. her tonight. Yeah. I thought, you know something, good on you. That's when he went right up there in my estimation. Well, of let's him. quickly move on to Megan. She only received one nomination, and that was from John. <laughs> Um, other, um, Anna, than a, than a meltdown the other mm. evening, mm. has she been a, quite a stable housemate, to be fair? <laughs> it, it was just... In, the, I, in, in my own personal well, view, which we're not allowed to have, I do think, <laughs> other than that, I don't think she's done anything that No, I mean, I, I mean, when I watched that meltdown... <laughs> melt. Oh, my gosh, as a psych, I was glued to that screen. I had about four pages of, of notes on, oh, my gosh, what, you know, what's going on with her? But she just... Blew up, mm. yeah. but I think because, as you said, I think she's quite consistent. Actually, I think she, um, I think she's quite mature for her age. Actually, sometimes you know, some might say she doesn't show it, but I think overall she's quite emotionally mature for her age. She's got a pretty level game. She just says it how it is. You know, she's quite sort of just slightly under the radar now. She mm. had that massive blow up, but what's really interesting is that everyone seems to have forgotten about that yeah. and let mm. her pass. And I think that's very interesting. Whereas maybe <laughs> Tiffany, they haven't yeah. mm. let her move on. I mean, on I a think bit. because Tiffany, like you say, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, Tiffany is less, pre uh, less predictable yes, than Megan. Absolutely. I think that yeah. was an extreme reaction yeah. from Megan, where she was something just happened and she... But we've all done it. Well, we've we're going to be talking about Tiffany, blown. especially me and you a bit later on. We are. Yeah. Um, but I want to talk about Daniela. There's just so many up. She only received one nomination. Um, she was another one of your pals, Christina, yeah, in that definitely. house. Yeah, um, definitely. Are you surprised that she's actually up again? I think... Well, I was, but I think, you know, be, with this whole thing with Stephanie will... Yeah, it, it's like with Darren and John, they're not going to let go, you know, mm. of that sort of fight and so on. I mean, I love Daniela. I truly, like, so happy I got to know her in the house. She's, mm. like, a very motherly person. I've got to be fair, and I, I do want to say this. I think a lot of people, I've said it before, were worried about Daniela going in. Absolutely. Mm. Could have gone one or two ways, and I think she has done herself well so yeah, far. Yeah, absolutely. Really good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, finally, let's talk about Jeremy. He's up for eviction oh. this week. <laughs> Dee, what are we let's, making of Jezza? Let's talk about Jezza. Do you know, <laughs> I could do some serious damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I don't care. 
I'm telling you now, I don't know if it's the accent, the taps, the eyes, the hair, the tape. The 10-inch <laughs> I think, yeah. you know, I think I too will be single by the time I get home. <laughs> but he's, oh, he's just absolutely... I'm just sitting here just looking at his yeah. picture. Um, on another note... <laughs> <laughs> do you think he deserves to be up for eviction? Not at all. I mean, you know, up for uh, eviction. Uh, no, <laughs> no. I think this is the only time Dean says to say, no, I don't want to see Jezza up. Give him the chat, guys. <laughs> Coming up, I've got all the latest headlines in today's Box Bulletin and we get the all-exclusive backstage gossip from last night's eviction with Christina. But right now, I want to know who is facing the chop this Friday. It's time to get voting. And it's really easy. If you look at the list and just do this, what you can do is you can decide if you want to save them or not. It's as simple as a yes <laughs> or a no. <laughs> who goes? You decide! This week, Daniela, Gemma, Jeremy, John, Megan, Stephanie and Tiffany all face the public vote. Who stays? You decide. From a landline, call 090 20 44 24 and add the number of the housemate you want to save. From a mobile, call 6 44 24 and add the number of the housemate you want to save. For Daniela, add 03. For Gemma, add 06. For Jeremy, add 07. For John, add 08. For Megan, add 11. For Stephanie, add 14. For Tiffany, add 15. Calls to the long number will cost 50 pence, plus your network access charge. Calls to the short number will cost 50 pence. Voting closes in Friday's eviction show. If you're watching on Catch Up after that or outside the UK, please don't vote. Votes cast after lines close won't count. You can find terms on the Big Brother website. Welcome back to Celebrity Big Brother's bit on the side. Coming up, our very own Alan, Anna Williamson. Who's Alan? Uh, gets into the celeb <laughs> minds of all our Shea BB housemates. But first, Last night, we sadly bid farewell to the third person that was evicted from the house. She's our little Siberian princess, and we like to call her Christina. <laughs> uh, and what a cold night it was. Here is her aftermath. The celebrity housemate and third to be evicted is Christina. Yeah! <laughs> Finally, I'm out. I can go home. I can eat whatever I want and have my own shower in my own bed. I'm actually excited. I've never met Metro Island before. Christina Reno! Christina! 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 Christina. I don't want to see those faces anymore. <laughs> did she have a game plan? Because I felt right from the beginning she did. Christina was 100% the right person to go. She was quite boring. I don't think we saw the real Christina at all. She's meant to be this sort of Russian fire brand from Strictly Come Dancing, and she was definitely sticking to not wanting to be involved in the bitching, but that's not what you want. It's a vote to save, not a vote to evict. So if it were the other way around, I think the result would have been a lot different. So I've got myself a new celebrity to dance with, and it's Ryland. Thank you, everyone, for watching me and supporting me. I love you all, but it's time for me to go home. You've been out of the house now for 24 hours. Yep. How are you feeling? Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. I slept a lot and um, very rested, very happy, you know, ate a lot as well. So, yes. Was it weird waking up this morning without 10 other people? Like, yes. morning, darling. But good words. You know, good words. <laughs> and what's the reaction been like? Since I was left? actually worried that I'm going to hear any minute the new batteries are in the hatch with one housemate. <laughs> this is Big the Brother, batteries. Christina. <laughs> get up. <Yeah. laughs> um, how's the reaction been? I know that you've got back yes. control of your Twitter now and stuff like that. Are you pleased? been really good actually, and I'm really happy about it because I don't, I don't know what we've been shown, you know, from mm. the house. 
And, um, you know, I'm just pleased that people are very supportive and very kind on Twitter and so on. You know, it's, it's been great. And I know great. Ben weren't here last night. You caught up with him? Everything all good? Yes, he's oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, oh, we love, we love <laughs> a love story. Um, well, everyone wants to know, what is next for the Rianoff? Oh, gosh, I don't know. It's only been 24 hours. Having a baby! <laughs> of course, but that's, you know, a few months to go. But I think a lot of rest, definitely, and catch up with everyone, my family and friends, and hopefully, you know, have a little bit of a holiday, I think. Well, I think you yep. deserve it, I babe. deserve Guys, it. Give it, I deserve it. it. Oh. We're going to be hearing more from her a little bit later on. But now, though, we are in week three, and I think it's fair to say friendships have been forged, fractured, faked and flipped reverse. Actually, you, yeah. Anna, come here, babe. I'm there, I'm come there. Here. Because I'm here to explain, with the inside track on all of their little minds, is the gorgeous Anna Williams. Yeah. And it's time for... <laughs> oh, babes. <laughs> I mean, we have got so much to talk about. Well, I hope you've got half an hour We really have. We've got about six minutes, yeah, so we'll did. try and cram it all in. Well, no, we know there's, there's been 17 series of Celebrity Big yes. Brother. Is this not the most unpredictable <laughs> series you've ever seen? Do you know what, Rye? It's so good to be here. A couple of weeks in now, because this is when it really is just absolutely kicking off mm. as we like it. Every year we go, can we top it? Yes, we've only gone and done it again. <sighs> you know, this year, it is so unpredictable. People are walking, people are threatening to walk, people are ill and are leaving. Everyone's starting to play God a bit. It's with like their an own... halfway yeah, house. it is. <laughs> They're all starting to be quite manipulative over how, how, um, how long they stay in that house themselves. So it's very, very interesting how this one is playing out. They're all dropping like flies. They're dropping like flies. <sighs> We're talking about dropping like flies. We've lost David, yes. Angie yes. and Christina already this week, and it's only Wednesday. Oh, I know. I mean... What impact is that going to have on the dynamic in there now? Because that, they're three quite big characters in there. Yeah, um, I think there's going to be a big change in that dynamic. And we've lost three very big players. Um, with Christina leaving, um, you know, John has lost a very needed friend mm. in a very tough week. Um, David leaving um, is going is to be... If he'd stayed in, he would have won this, for sure. I would have absolutely put, put money on that. Nice guy. You like him, guys? Yeah. Nice guy. Really, um, well. really, really well. Even Emma said she couldn't believe how much he's changed over the years. Such, yeah, and that really comes across. Mm. There isn't a bad bone in the guy, you know, and I'm sorry that he, he, he's gone. Angie, um, I think it's probably the one thing the housemates will unite on. Thank goodness Angie's gone. She cried wolf too many times. Yeah. Every day, she was literally picking and choosing... I'm going to leave. I'm not going to leave. I mean, the best comment was about be cheap and get an Uber. I mean, that was I absolutely mean, hilarious. Other, other firms are available. Or just get a London <laughs> black cab. Just put it out there. Or just walk. Um, but she was a nightmare and she would have absolutely done my head in. So I think it's good for everyone, that, including herself, that she's now gone. I know that there's been a lot of changes in housemates over the past. We're mm. literally like 13, 14 days in, whatever it is. And I know there's been a lot of changes. So let's go right back to the beginning. Let's go back to John. When he went in, he was Mr. Selfless, Mr. You know, Alpha male. Uh, we've called him for a long mm. time, and now we're seeing him getting really upset in the diary room. That's not what we expect from John Partridge. What are you making of it? John has peaked too soon. Um, you know, as we all know, John is a, a big you know, friend, of, friend of the show. Friend of you the know, show. I've been on the panel with John before. I think he's, a, as Dee said as well, he's a, he's a cracking panellist mm. on Vox. He gets it. I think he went into that house, I mean, it's in a nice way, thinking he knew it all. Um, you know, he, I think he felt that he was in the, in the powerful position amongst the housemates. He got it. He's, he's seen it behind the scenes. He gets the mechanics of it. But I think it's a great example of no one, including yourself, uh, in, excluding yourself, Ryan, should I say, should I say, all careful, I'm going to be out, taxi. Get out! Get that Uber or other cab for me. <laughs> but no one is bigger than the show. No, no one and, is bigger and, than Big yeah, Brother. And, and, and I think it's a good place to show. You've got to remember that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Obviously yourself. Oh, oh, oh totally trust included. me, they'll get rid of Do me if they want to. Sign him up for like 10 years, come on. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, th I think that was, you know, case in point, really. And Gemma's been the one that's getting to him, and speaking of her, what, yes. are, what are you making of her? Because everyone has got an opinion on Gemma Collins. Every single yeah. person has got, a, yeah. got an opinion on her. The GC, Gemma Collins herself. It's so hard to differentiate who she is. Mm. She's in a great mood at one point, mm. and then in the next, she's like, don't do games. It's like, what, yeah. what's going on? She's so much more. Well, she is unpredictable, and she's not. <laughs> but Gemma's a great housemate, right? I mean, when she I heard is. she was going she in, is. I was thinking, right, yes, this, this is the show for you. Um, she absolutely lives and breathes reality. She knows what she's doing. She knows, I think she thinks what is expected of her. You know, we've heard her tonight, you know, three times going, give me a moment, big brother, I'll be up and I'll give you plenty to, you know, plenty to you know, Does she realise that we can hear her? <laughs> I know, right? 
<laughs> I know. It's almost like just be careful, you know, I'll stick it all on and I'm, and I'm really yeah, Don't worry, darling. Give me five. Perform. Give me five and I'll like <laughs> judge myself up. And her name might just be like Julia. We'll never know. <laughs> We will but never know. Well, we will never know. But I think essentially there is a there is a young lady that does have a lot of insecurities. You mm. know, I watch her. She yeah. she has a huge armor, you know, going on with herself because, um, you know, she's had to she's had to fight a lot to get where she is. Um, she's had to take an enormous amount of stick where she, she probably shouldn't, you know, and have had over say, the years. And I've got to say, it comes down to her businesses and stuff like that. Much respect to her. She knows Much what she's doing. Much respect to her for Yeah, and, and you know, and let's you know, and, and, and it's just my opinion and from what I've read. But you know, I'm led to believe she has a pretty rocky um, romantic past. And I think we saw. We saw an absolute genuine part of, of Gemma, not GC Gemma, last night when Tiffany did her old Oprah act, mm. which I quite liked. We've got a little, saw a little bit of heart from girl. Tiffany. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Don't, she'll be after it. I'm telling you. In. She's got she'll, a be in life. she'll be there. But that sort of um, involuntary tear that, that Gemma sort of shed, that was, that was true sadness um, from someone that was really hurting inside. We'll get to see the real her, won't we? Eventually. We will. And do you know what? The thing with Gemma is she's very emotion uh, emotionally mature. She mm. actually knows exactly what she's doing. She's authentic. She, she, she values truth um, and authenticity. And that is actually holding her in very good stead as a viewer watching it. I think it riles up housemates who don't value um, those particular values and beliefs. Look at me getting all psyched. Oh, um, oh that's my job. Um, <laughs> But, yeah, I think that is that. But you see, everyone gravitate back to Gemma, apology. And do you know what? She never, ever holds a grudge. No. She will always take an apology. And I think that is... I think we mustn't forget that about <laughs> Gemma. She doesn't actually scream obscenities in people's faces like others do to her. Well, let's, let's move on to Daniela. Uh, she, oh, yeah. Like I just said earlier, a lot of people were worried about her going yeah, in there. I, I, I do, yeah, and yeah. I, and I do think that she has dealt with this situation really, really well. Mm. One thing she has come out and said is that she's finding it really, really hard that people aren't respecting people's personal spaces. Mm. There's not really any boundaries in there which in typical big brother fashion there never is that's the point right how do you think that's going to affect her uh, i think daniela is doing brilliantly um yeah. i think she's gone into this house yeah um she's gone into this house with absolutely nothing to lose and i was worried i was thinking all oh. but actually in the first couple of days when she had the first sort of little bit of a, a, an emotional sort mm. of breakdown i was thinking oh gosh help but you know what this just goes to show how strong she is other people who are perceived as strong such as john have broken daniela has stayed consistent slightly below the radar and she's doing well talking about broken she went in enemies with her old best mate oh, that's been swept under the carpet. What sort of traits does that tell us about Daniela? Um, I think it shows she's actually, she's been there, she's done it, you know, she's actually got quite a big heart and I think she's been through enough and bigger problems in her life than to let this one, uh, you know, affect her even Just more. She's, deal with it she's letting bygones it. be bygones, you know, and I think, um, I don't think she judges, I think because of what she's been through herself, I don't think she probably dares judge mm. um, because we all have moments where we make mistakes and I think she's been incredibly generous um, and big hearted in just kind of going, okay, you know, even if it's just for the house, mm. even if it's just for See now. What happens on the she, yeah, but what she hasn't done is scream, shout and air her dirty laundry within the house, which I thought might happen. Mm. Um, so I think she's actually playing a great game and I'm, I'm predicting top three. Well, let's talk about... <laughs> Let's talk about the young ones, uh, yeah. Stephanie, Jeremy, Megan and Scotty T. Mm. How do you think they're getting on? Because when they went in, they were very young and foolish and, you know, mm. just enjoying the moment. Do you think they've changed or...? Nah. <laughs> no. <laughs> One dimensional, get me in there, I'm going to have a time of my life and come on out, and come on out. My only problem with, with the four youngsters, the youngsters, she says, <laughs> post 30, uh, they do wear their heart on their sleeve, they mm. play it out as it comes along, as we see. We're getting some nice little storylines out of, of all four of them um, and they are a bit of a pack. Uh, mm. the, four of them. the only thing I worry about them, particularly Stephanie, I worry about their perspective and mm. I think that's an age thing. Um, Stephanie in particular is very emotionally uh, immature. Uh, Megan's is slightly more mature as I've already explained. I worry about Stephanie. Um, she hasn't done what I think everyone should do is keep that foot outside the door of, of in she your real needs life. To keep that perspective she reality. needs because she's gonna have one heck of a time when she comes mm. out of this house. Regardless of what anyone else thinks of her, quite frankly, it doesn't really it shouldn't matter what anyone else thinks of her, but I think it will because she's a very insecure young lady and sh what she wants is she wants Jeremy. Yeah. Um, but she's also very guilty, not quite sure what to do with her relationship outside the house. And as very well. quickly, I'm so sorry to cut you off. No, please, no, 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 no. What no, about no. Tiffany? Oh, love her, love her, love her, love her. 
seconds love her, love her, love her. Go on, Tim. Um, I think I think the, uh, the the culture divide is is really kind of kicking in there now. The whole UK USA thing. Uh, Tiffany for me is an absolutely archetypal, brilliant housemate. Um, she says it how it is. She blows up. She's actually got a very very good heart. There's a lot mm. about Tiffany which is good. She's a good heart. She has been bruised. If I was to sit in a therapy session with her, I bet there's an awful lot that's happened to Tiffany that has hurt her and bruised her. She's a very very um, uh, sensitive front. person. But the minute someone even looks at her in the wrong way, she is up and in She is up. She is up. She's she's up. Like up. But my final point on that is I think, unfortunately for Tiffany, I think she's now made her bed and she's going to have to lie on it on yeah. Friday. She overreacted with those nominations and I think she's gone Friday. Oh, well, only time I don't want her. Tell. I don't want well, her. I think she should stay in. We're going to wait until Friday and it's up to you guys at home. But mm. on that note, give it up. The gorgeous Emma oh, Williams there. Thank you. Lovely having you back, guys. Uh, it's time for a quick break now. We've got some super exclusive house action coming up. Plus, back by popular demand, our resident stand-up, Matt Richardson's back. <laughs> He's going to be casting his funny eyes across this week's fans. He's guaranteed to be a proper lower fan. I will see you after this break. <laughs> In just a minute, Matt Richardson is going to be dissecting and destroying the very best of who said what on Twitter to bring you this week's celeb buzz. But now, I think it's time for tomorrow's headlines. In today's news... <laughs> extra, extra! Read all about it! Well, after an eventful night in the house at 9.39, Big Brother decided to give the housemates a nice, easy start to the morning. And Jeremy, in particular, was rather excited. <laughs> Personal gym pass now. Hang on, hang on. What? Oh my god, yeah. I think there was someone missing there. Let's take a look. This is Big Brother. All housemates must attend the high speed techno spinning class immediately. Gemma must also attend immediately. It's the night doing it. I ain't awake. You can see on the cameras I've struggled sleeping. Fuck that. Oh, she's so ungrateful. And speaking of Epping, at 11.32, Scotty T and Megan look to head to the future. I would not want a little Scotty T running around. <laughs> not no. Be like a little, a little crazy kid. Best human. No, it would have my temper and your craziness. So be an ultimate fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a big fuck up. At least if he's a boy, he'll be good looking. It would be good looking if it was a girl. <laughs> what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? No. That'd be nice, though. You know, Megan's temper, Scotty's craziness, the Georgie, Georgie Essex accent. Could you call it Georgie? <laughs> what could go wrong with that child? <laughs> I wonder. Uh, now, whilst the other housemates were wake, working up a sweat, sorry, Gemma caught up on some sleep. But, you know, she really needs it. And at 12.08, finally, she was ready and raring to go. <laughs> Just, just really had enough. Just, just, yeah. Not up for it today at all. <sighs> Nothing's bothered me. Um, I just really would give anything just to go and work in my shop today and do something that I love doing. That's it. <sighs> it stinks in the house. Like, I don't know, I just really miss home. Hold up, hold up, look, babe. You perfected the tan yesterday, now you're doing your nails. What more does she want from us? What does she want? Uh, and that was my roundup of today's news. There you go, that was the news. Look. <laughs> what does she want? <laughs> now here with his chuckles and bulletin of all this week's shenanigans, it's our little brother, Matt Richardson. <laughs> Yes, I'm back because judging by Twitter, you lot can't get enough of telling me to piss off. So, I don't 
don't care, I'm employed. Uh, now, it's what a week, right? It's been ridiculous. So much has happened this week. Tensions are running high, and the housemates' real personalities are getting more exposed than Gemma's hair extensions. <laughs> this week, Daniela called Megan the perfect role model for her daughter. I think we all saw that. And you know what? Hang on, you know what, right? She's absolutely right. Megan is polite, eloquent, relaxed, and she has such a wonderful, some would even say poetic, way with the English language. Let me in there with that lying little scumbag cunt called John and Tiffany, right? Hello? Let me in there. Megan, sit down. Let me in there. Megan, sit down. Let me in there, and you let Tiffany demand everyone. Megan, sit down. No, you let everyone else demand everyone apart from me. You think because I'm just 23 years old, you think I can deal with this shit. I've dealt with it for two fucking days and I've not said a word. What a role model. We should be sending her into primary school to teach them a thing or two. Now, <laughs> normally I'd read out a tweet about Megan right now, but this week I can go one better. After that meltdown, someone has actually set up a whole Twitter account for the vein that's bulging in her neck. <laughs> Genuinely, look at this, look, uh, Megan McKenna Vane, right? It's got 265 followers already. And you know what? Whoever made up that account, congratulations. You're the real winner of Celebrity Big Brother. <laughs> now, <laughs> of course, you've all been tweeting your opinions on Steph and the walking kaleidoscope. Jeremy, um, at Jade Starmate, said, Steph is literally the girl that puts a bad name to us females. Not even sorry. Hashtag CBB. <laughs> Um, but I do feel sorry for Steph, I have to say. I've got a clip of her trying to keep up with Gemma in the fake tan stakes. Sometimes, whether you want to hear this or not, I think we do things to self-destruct. <laughs> Steph, that's the wrong shade. Look, if you get a Dulux colour chart, <laughs> Gemma is burnt terracotta, right? You've gone chocolate wish. Rookie error, my friend, rookie error. Now... <laughs> Three of you went to clap and the rest of you went, oh, go on then, fine, we better do it. <laughs> all together or not at all. Uh, John and Gemma are a big talking point on Twitter. Some of you love him and some of you loathe him. At Tia Duane said, John CBB is literally the most fake, manipulative bitch about. <laughs> Tell it how it is. And my mind, Palace221, catchy name, said, I really, really don't get the vitriol towards CBB John. Lol, I'm weird. Now... <laughs> John is... Lol, so funny. Uh, John is finding it really hard in there, and it seems to be getting to him. I regret that I let certain people get to me so much that I cried. I didn't even cry at my father's funeral. Oh. That is the worst brag ever. <laughs> Shit, humble brag, right? Also, John, admitting that lack of emotion at your own dad's funeral isn't a good idea. That's part of a psychopath test. <laughs> also... Thanks very much, guys. <laughs> oh, stop it. Uh, also, a little acting tip from John when it comes to crying. If you can't cry on cue, cover your eyes at all times and no one will guess you're pretending. Me being like this is just probably what she wants. And I can't give her that satisfaction. I can't give her the satisfaction. <laughs> I just, I just can't take it. Don't look at my eyes. I'm really crying. Trust me. I can't take it anymore. Just don't look at me because there is water, but I can't show you. <laughs> it's there. Just believe me. I'm an actor. That's it for me this week. Thanks very much. Goodbye. Hi, Richardson. Love him. Uh, it's time now. I'm dreading this. It's time now for me to get lyrical. Check this out. Now here is something you need to know. Yeah, one of these housemates, yeah, they gotta go on Friday night. They're gonna face the chop. But who will you save from the chopping block? You gotta vote for your favorite, don't run and hide. Which one stays, yo? You decide. <laughs> What? I think we need to get on with it. Should we have ourselves a little exclusive? Yes! Well, some of the housemates have been having a good old bitch about the JC. I did go too far, I got too personal. I just felt I apologise. I just feel that intimidated by her. Mm. She just intimidates me. 
I think I'm the first person to ever stand up to I'll a never, I I've think I'm the first person to ever stand up to a rapper. She's just got this thing about her, and just like it really intimidates me. It's like this aura about her, and I'm like. That's why I thought it's not. That's why she'll never fuck with me again. Yeah. That's why. When she but I don't want to. I don't want to come across as weak. But I'd rather just not. I'd rather okay. just do things or do it rather than out fucking rather than the ass. I knew when Jennifer I mean? went, she wanted a new best mate, and I knew she was going to latch onto you. Oh, well, she's not though. Well, I know, but I'm trying. She's I'm trying, trying to try my be best. Like, she tried to, didn't she? She's trying to. Like, she is now. Mm -hmm. She wanted to be bad last night. Honestly. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but we just say, Gemma coming through the door like a bong girl. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Uh, Christina, I know you're not the biggest Gemma fan, no. but can you, do you understand what they're trying to say? Yes, there? I do, I think, because Chris kind of turned into a lap dog for her in the end, you know, because she yeah. was kind of yeah. bossing him around. And like you said, she's intimidating for him. He's just a sweet guy. You know, he doesn't want to say no or upset anybody, but it's even getting on his nerves. So, mm. like, you must understand how we all feel around her. And I think, you know, it was just really hard with her in the house. I felt like she was always, you know, uh, trying to stir everything, you know, even more and, and sort of, like, divide everyone mm. so then she can be everybody's best mate, you know? So, I don't know, I just kind of lost a little bit of respect for her. And she keeps going about the business that she's doing and makes, like, two million. So, no, 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 love, why are you in the house, then? I would be in Central Pay. Cha-cha! I mean... <laughs> Anna, really quickly, yeah, I've, I've got to ask you, do you think cool. she's now going to try and start forming solid alliances now? Because With Gemma? Know, yeah. Um, I think Gemma's just going to carry on playing her game, yeah. the way yeah. she's playing it. Um, I think, uh, I don't think she really gives two hoots about anybody no. else. I yeah. think she is such a strong character within herself. I think she's, as you, like you say, she, she tells everyone what she's yeah. achieving, and, and good for her, yeah, good but I think she, she's put up with so much in her life outside the house, she ain't going to let the house bring her down. Do no way. Agree? She'll bring I'm down the house. Of, I mean, I'm kind of thinking, <laughs> is... You know, has she got a game, or is this just really her? <laughs> this is the deal, you know, is this what she's like all the time? It's like... <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> oh, God, I've never seen Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was a £50 note down there. <laughs> I wish there was. So do I. Rylan, you know, I think, I think Gemma, I'm not so sure about these two characters, Gemma Collins and the GC. I think from the minute she wakes up to the minute she goes to sleep, she's performing for the camera the whole mm -hmm. time. Yeah. And I didn't think anyone could top Perry's performing for the camera, but I really don't think she is. And also, is there any chance of banning them from wearing sunglasses in there? Well, yeah. this winds me up, because when I was in there, I used to get That's told off for yeah. doing it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to put it out there. Hashtag confiscate all the sunglasses. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Well, if there weren't being celebrity Big Brother without the tears, tension and backstabbing, and especially some home truth. So let's chat a little bit more about tonight's show we've just seen. Uh, starting with today's task, the yes and no game. We'll stick with the Gemma theme, because she said the housemates are jealous of her. Um, <laughs> discuss. I, I, don't, I don't think they're jealous. I think they're just totally fed up with her, if I'm honest yeah. with you. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like... <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm interested to know why she said that, because she's not doing herself any favours by mm. saying that. that even is not Chris, um, uh, yeah. Chris and Daniela's reaction in the diary room, like, oh. What? Exactly yeah. that. Like, Daniela went, well, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's an interesting thing. She, I think she said that to put the cat amongst the pigeons. And you were saying as well, Christina, that she, she genuinely, you believe, she mm. genuinely does think that people are jealous of yeah, her. Yeah, she does. She thinks that, you know, everybody sort of um, have a thing for her because we, we're jealous, but I don't really know how we can all be jealous of Gemma, you know, we're all there, our, our own, own people, yeah. you know, for all yeah. the rights, mm. and, and, you know, she's successful, mm. great. But do you know what I'm going to tell you? Donald Trump is one of the most successful businessmen in the world, and he's a oh. very nasty <laughs> prick. Well, <laughs> so, here you go. It doesn't mean that My you house. have a good business, you're very popular yeah. as well. So. well. Well, let's talk about the performing. Paul's just brought it up. <laughs> we're not going to get over this Donald Trump thing, I can just I say know, it. It. Um, <laughs> Paul's just brought it up, the performing. She is making no... She's not trying to cover up the fact that she is putting on an act, you know, giving it, give me ten minutes, I'll give you the TV gold. <laughs> Do we like that? Yeah. Do you know? yeah. Because we constantly accuse people of playing games on this show, they're doing it for the cameras. She's very honest about it. It's, it's entertaining at the end of the day. Yeah. She said so herself that she's here to make a TV show. And let's face it, we're all talking about her. And we're all, here we're to all, watch we're all watching her, we're all discussing her, and she, she's making great TV. And I, I didn't really like Gemma to begin with, and she's completely turned me around 360, and I absolutely love her, and she's great for a viewer. It's what she well, believes she to get back to no, her. I think, I think she think she is Big Brother. Yeah. She's oh, running oh, the house. Oh, she, well, that would be the biggest twist of the series so far. Oh, do it, do it. Can you 
imagine this is Big Brother? <laughs> we ain't playing any game. <laughs> Wouldn't it be a sad house? Well, energy in that house is definitely tense. We already talked about the nominations earlier, but can the breakups make up? Let's start with Scotty T and Steph, Christina. Mm. Do you think she was really yeah. upset that he went yeah. for her and she said, look, surely there's people in this house that have done worse to you than what I've done. Yeah. Do you think they're ever going to be able to reconcile that? Ooh, I don't know, to be honest. I think the four of them was such a tight pack at the beginning. You know, they all had fun, and actually they don't mind to be in the house for yeah. a year, I think, you know? <laughs> um, but I think now, because Jeremy is close to Scotty, Scotty is a very loyal guy. He's a really mm. nice person, and he's standing up for his mate, you mm. know, and I think mm. he's doing the right thing. I know Stephanie, you know, we all understand that she is not doing her any, herself any favors by behaving so mm. way in the house. You know, just Scotty teeth called her on it, you know, that's that's the bottom line. Yeah, she's, not, she's not enjoying the truth from it. She's, yeah. she's been shown difference. another mirror, yeah. like Gemma yeah. did to her, a big mirror with what she's doing, and she's yeah. not enjoying the truth. What do we make of Scotty T's nomination? Oh, I'll give that a go. Yeah. Shut up, Jim. <laughs> I think it's very honest, because, to be honest with me, I think Stephanie's got too many chilies in her noonies that she's asking for a bit of how's your father. That's it. <laughs> Maybe she got them free when Gemma had her done. <laughs> It's so muggy when you make yourself love it. <laughs> um, but it's all right, Jordan Darren. Uh, these two were best mates from the start. No, they the were. No, 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 no. Uh, John and Darren, they even shared that box together. They, we know John has got the flack from it, but do we think it's time to move on from that? Or do you, do you know, think Darren they is weren't the best, They weren't best mates from the start. John put, himself, John put himself had to go in the box. He never even picked Darren to go in the box. Darren it's offered. So, yeah. so it's like, they, they, you know, they weren't friends from the start. No. Not at all. No, no. And if Darren's got any sense with him, then I don't think... <laughs> You know, yeah. don't make up. Oh! <laughs> well, we've started to see, Anna, a few tears from John now. Mm. Do you think the crowd reaction has got anything Come to on. do with that? Come it did get to him. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it did affect him very, very much, you know. Obviously, mm. yes, yeah, so, uh, I am friends with John and I will be out, you know, hopefully yes. for a long time. Yeah. And, you know, even if he's in the wrong, how you guys perceive it, you know, I'm still going to stand by him because, you know, I'm a loyal person No, I think too. that's a great character. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, the thing is, I think it's time for them to move on. Unfortunately, people in the house don't let them to move on. Yes. When Darren yes. came to me about the situation, I said, yes, it was shocking to me too, but sometimes we kind of have the tough laugh from our closest people and perhaps sometimes, you know, it, it really bothers us and I know he feels betrayed, but I said, listen, you know, you, you have to perhaps forgive and mm. move on. You know, when he went to Gemma, Gemma said, well, grow a pair of bollocks, uh, Darren, <laughs> and tell him yeah, how yeah. it is. And I don't really understand why it's a very selfish thing for Gemma too. You know, Darren is a very vulnerable guy. Mm -hmm. You know, why to keep staring that pot? Let yeah. them be. Just let, let them, them work be. it out, you know, and John apologised more than once about it. Well, so, we're, uh, we're, and I'm sorry, we're at the end of the show. <laughs> I've got to ask Team Darren or Team John very quickly. Team John. Darren, sorry. Darren. <laughs> Darren. <laughs> Darren. 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 Any Johns? Darren. Any Johns? Darren. One John. Good chat, give it another one. And sadly, that's all I've got time for tonight. And massive thank you to all of my guests and our fantastic audience. For more CBD action, Chris over to Five Star now for Live from the House. I'll be back here tomorrow at 11 pm with Towie Star Poppy Norris, the one and only team of the night. And stop the press, Angie Bowie is on this day. Till then, no, no.